crazy part is, hey, when you come back to work on Monday, stop what you're doing, stop all your files and work on this file because we get foreclosed the very next day. That's where the price goes up, right? Mm -hmm. We're literally calling the day before uh, foreclosure. Now for TRO, he needs to draft the documents, he needs to talk to the seller, and then he needs to go to the courthouse and get the judge to actually sign a document, go back to the office and tell the lender, hey, lender, check this out. You can't touch this client. There's a restraining order against you if the judge approves it. And that's the case. Now I buys me time. And again, the bank just wants our money. And I can then reinstate the loan and do what I gotta do. Hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm, every day I'm, every day I'm. One, two, three! Oh, no. Yes, yeah, from the boss. All right, guys, it's Friday, 5 p.m., and I'm gonna do what most lawyers don't like to do, is I'm gonna call a lawyer at Friday, 5 p.m., right before they start the weekend. The reason I'm gonna call this lawyer, because I got a good sub two. The crazy part is this sub two gets foreclosed on Tuesday. So you got Saturday, Sunday, which is the weekend. Monday, we have one business day. The next day, it gets the foreclosure. So let me call this attorney, give him a heads up, say I got my eyes on this good sub two deal that gets foreclosed in one business day, and I need him to do what you call a TRO. So let's see if he answers real quick. So I'll call the attorney, wait for his phone call back. Uh, he just texted me, give me call back a tro is a temporary restraining order so what i want to do is again it's friday it's 5 p.m we got saturday sunday which don't count we got monday one business day and then on tuesday the house gets foreclosed what a temporary restraining order is i'm gonna pay the lawyer x amount of dollars he is gonna get with the client which is the seller and he's gonna say hey i see you're getting foreclosed on one business day so i gotta act fast he pretty much needs to stop what he's doing on monday and fo focus on this what he's gonna do is he's gonna tell the lender hey lender my client is getting foreclosed on tuesday the next day i'm putting a restraining order against you so it stops everything once it stops everything it buys me time typically it buys me 45 to 60 days but by that time we'll reinstate the loan We'll close out the deal and it'll be another deal in the portfolio. So how do you avoid the risk of paying for the TRO, but if the seller backs out? That's the part. So one, I want to make sure he's aware, right? First thing Monday morning, he knows what's going on. Two, I want to know what his price is. And once I got him lined up tomorrow, I saw the deals. I saw the numbers. The only reason we can't get this closed ASAP is because it's a big reinstatement. The reinstatement right now is $38,000. Now, if it was a smaller reinstatement, I would just send the reinstatement to the lender Monday morning, same day delivery. That way it was stop the foreclosure. But I don't want to spend forty thousand dollars. I want to make sure that if I have an exit strategy, so I'm actually gonna look at the house tomorrow. If all goes well, I'll lock up the deal on a sub two. I'll tell her about the TRO. I'm gonna have a buyer already lined in place to buy owner financing for forty thousand dollars down. So the crazy part is tomorrow when I go look at the house at four o'clock, I'm a gonna meet the seller, tell her about a sub two, and b I actually have a buyer with me that's gonna be uh, forty thousand dollars down. So once the buyer says yes. Yes. then I'll risk the, the TRO funds to pay for the attorney. So what do you want the viewer to take away from this video? One, what's a TRO, right? What's a temporary restraining order? Temporary restraining order is what allows us to stop the foreclosure, that's one. Two, you really don't need it because I have the reinstatement, but this is a $40,000 reinstatement. I don't want to pay $40,000 and get stuck with the house and only find a buyer with 20 grand down. I so happen to find the same day because I already had somebody in the pipeline who wants to buy owner finance. I already sent her the address. She loves it. She wants to go look at it tomorrow. So hopefully all the stars align tomorrow. And if it does, everything will just fall in place. At that point, I will take earnest money from the end buyer to help me pay off this TRO. So I'm basically using everyone's money to fund this deal so I can make money. Well, I know you got COVID. I know it's 5 p.m. on a Friday, so I definitely appreciate you answering this call. But the reason I was calling you is because I have an awesome deal. And you know what Tuesday is. Foreclosure day. <laughs> I'll be down at the courthouse on Monday getting TROs. There you go. See, I didn't even have to say it, man. You really you got my back. <laughs> so it's a really good deal. I want to do a sub two. It's on the chopping block for Tuesday. I'm meeting the seller tomorrow. I already have the reinstatement. So I know I can send the reinstatement on Monday and stop it, but it's a pretty reinstatement. It's about $40,000. So I'd rather just do the TRO and do it the right way. So on Monday, uh, we're yeah, good? Yeah, shoot me an email with the uh, property address. Okay. And if you have the payoff, the payoff, I will... Uh, I'll be working over the weekend. I'll get it drafted up, get it filed, and I'm running downtown around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon to get in front of a judge and post bonds and all that. So why would people go to you for TROs? A lot of sellers will wait to the very last second. Um, people just don't realize the magnitude of what they're facing with the foreclosure. And oftentimes, part of the borrower, the party's getting foreclosed, We'll go under contract a week or so before the foreclosure sale date, and we can't always get the deal closed prior to the foreclosure sale date. So going in, getting that restraining order, will always buy at least a month, if not substantially longer, uh, to provide time to close the sale, get the lender paid off, and move forward. So long as the lender is one of the big institutional lenders, they don't want the property, they want the money. 
things are a little bit different when you run into seller finances and that kind of stuff because right. oftentimes the seller finance lender wants that property back. Um, so I often have to pay attention to whether or not it's a, a big bank or a small local guy because that really kind of affects how I handle things. Now, what are we looking at price rise? Uh, my price is a $3,000 flat rate, and that includes approximately $500 uh, in court costs, which includes the filing fee and the service fee. Uh, there is a bond associated with the uh, with the TIG TRO, but if the bond's under $500, I usually cover that out of my pocket and because I get it back when the case is dismissed. Mm. If the bond is over 500 I do pass that uh, cost on to the client. Okay. And then what's the approval rate? In Bear County, I don't think I have ever lost a TRO. I've had them denied in smaller counties, but Bear County understands that when I'm in the courtroom and I'm getting a restraining order to stop the sale, we're doing it for the purpose of uh, assisting the homeowner, allowing them to cash out the equity, right. and uh, keep them from losing what's most likely the biggest asset in their life. Okay. Well, I definitely appreciate that, man. So, one, I always appreciate you got my back. And that's why you guys to have an awesome attorney like Mr. Nathan Case who's willing to pick up the phone on the weekend. Um, so, you guys give him a shout out. Give him a follow. So, if you're watching this video, I drop tips and tricks like this all the time from real estate wholesaling to TROs. Now that you guys know, that's going to help me with the sub two. That's going to help me with the owner finance deal on a wraparound. So, I'm starting from the straight source. Got the deal from a wholesaler. We're getting a lawyer involved for a TRO so I can do a sub two deal so I then can sell it on the finance on a wraparound so I can cash flow. Tips and tricks just like this. Don't forget to subscribe.